Dale, congratulations on making the NCAA tournament. What was the reaction just now? <laughs> It was crazy. The guys, uh, a lot of raw emotion. You know, I mean, obviously losing to Oregon the other night. Um, I think a lot of guys felt like that was going to be, you know, make it tough for us. And uh, so there was, I mean, obviously it went down to the last region that uh, we found out we got in. So the guys were just ecstatic. Yeah, you, you said these guys are deserving. What, why so? Well, I just think we've finished the year playing our best baseball. Um, we got one of the the top offenses in the, in, the, in the country. I think our pitching is pitching as good as it's pitched all year. And, uh, you know, those are the teams you want in the tournament. You want the teams that are hot and can give you the best games. I know you're happy just to get in, but, but how about TCO? What type of challenge to do? Oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. They're another team that's finished a year hot, too. They, they kind of went through a cold spell, um, but they've won a bunch of games in a row. They won their, their tournament. Um, and we know their coaches very well. Uh, we know their personnel pretty well. From the, they got some kids from Arizona. Um, they're going to be a tough. They're going to be a tough team to play. The the teams that you were able to get in over ASU, USC, Irvine, those are teams you beat here in the last few weeks. Um, do you think that that's something that played a role in it? Yeah, I, I think it did. I mean, I, obviously, that's kind of that last ten they look at, and um, you know, it's, it's 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 unfortunate, especially for the teams in our conference, um, USC and, and ASU. For me, we're, we're definitely deserving teams to get in. Uh, obviously, we wanted to get in, um, so we're happy, but we're, we're disappointed for our conference not to get those teams in also. Your regional last year included Ole Miss, which was, I guess, <laughs> the last team in, and you got to see firsthand what a team motivated by a, 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 an opportunity like that right. and feel that your guys can do the same kind of thing and, and that you may have to prove that you deserve to have been in and gotten this spot? Yeah, I think so. I think, I, hey, listen, we've been playing this way for the last three weeks. You know, we you know, went up to Stanford and had two tough losses and then won that last game. Um, they've sort of been playing with that mindset this whole time. You know, we're, you know, we're, we're sort of backs against the wall. So um, it's an older team, a veteran team, you know, led by some really good people. So uh, I expect we'll come out and play our best baseball. What has Mason done for you, this team? Oh, he's been incredible. I mean, obviously, in the fall, we, we, we saw how talented he was. Um, you know, never really got to see it in front of a huge crowd. And once we started playing games, and um, he went through a little bit of a, of a spell, you know, where he wasn't kind of, he wasn't Mason White. And uh, once we got, got him back in the lineup um, and playing second base every day, he, he became a key part of this team. And you saw it the other night with two lasers off his bat, and uh, he plays fantastic defense. So he's been a huge part of it. Are you, are you aware that he's a third generation Wildcat? Oh yeah, no doubt. We knew that. I mean, I obviously know his dad Ben very well. Um, I think a certain amount of years to the day that they were in the uh, announced today, they were in the Oklahoma State Regional. So we were thinking, who would we go to Oklahoma State? Um, but yeah, and his grandfather obviously co played with Coach Stitt here, and um, just a great um, family. And uh, hopefully Mason will have a son and come here too. <laughs> did you did you play with his dad? I don't know the age. No, he was he was after me. He's he's younger. <laughs> Okay, and we'll just elaborate on what you were saying about the date or the years too. Or? No, just saying that you know his dad had just gotten they, they announced their region um, so many years ago today. I don't know the exact number, but uh, we thought maybe we might go that same one. Gotcha. Assuming that you were able to sleep last night, what were you thinking of when your head hit the pillow? Well, I think when you you know we've been dealing with this for a while. You know, especially in the in the uh, conference tournament, you go to sleep kind of rehearsing three or four different speeches <laughs> to your team, you know. Um, good ones, bad ones, you know, it's good news, bad news. Um, so I did sleep a little better last night than I've slept in the last few, but uh, not really that well. And so what was the speech? Well, no, we just gave it to them in there and just said, hey, they're just very deserving. I told them this on Saturday night. I, I, a lot of guys were really down after that game, and I said, get your heads up. I said, we're a deserving team. The, com the committee will see this. Um, they'll see what we've done. They'll see our, our um, last 10 games. They'll see how well we've played in this tournament. It's getting really good teams in our conference. So um, just obviously there was no reason, no, no need to get them up. They are yeah. already up today. Um, so we'll just get a good lift in, go to good practice in, and get, get going on our, in our schedule. And it must be nice that uh, now that there is this conference tournament to give the opportunity. Well, it saved us, obviously. Yeah. But, you know, they, they, they kind of added those, those wins into our conference uh, win total. Which was huge, and they and they kind of added the, the midweek game against ASU. So those were those are big games, and I think our midweek schedule helped us too. You know, beating Irvine was a huge win for us after Stanford. Um, you know, we 
Tennessee, we've had some really good wins, which helped us. Does the team take extra motivation and, okay, you let us in, now we're going to show you that we really deserved, or are they just motivated nonetheless? Well, I hope, I mean, hope there's, obviously, there's no need for extra motivation. Um, and we, we will prove that we're a good team. You know, we'll play our tails off. And, and uh, like I said on Saturday night, we played a good game. Oregon beat us. Um, we'll go out and play the best we can play and uh, represent this conference very well. What was it like to watch the show with it coming down to the very, very last? Yeah, um, it was nerve wracking. <laughs> I felt for the guys. Um, obviously, you know, I've been through these things, whether it's professional baseball, you know, trying to get into playoffs or in the college ranks when I was here. Um, so I felt for him. There was a lot of nerves going on. Um, guys, you know, we're in a room and, and, and it's freezing here. I need my jacket. Well, obviously there's a lot of stress going on. So, um, yeah, it was, it was really, it came down to the last one. So it was really, um, pressurized at the end. You mentioned, um, ASU and USC not making it. Coach Waz, I think said after the game, he thought seven teams. Yeah. Deserved uh, to be in there from the pack. Do you feel like the pack doesn't get the respect? Well, I think it's. I think that's that's a tough thing to say. That that committee has such a hard, hard uh, job to do. You know, and we believe that because we play against these teams um, and we see how good they are and the talent level. Um, so of course we feel that way. Um, obviously, they went very heavy on the RPI this year, um, and I think that's what helped us a lot. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, Congrats. appreciate it. One o'clock, you said, for practice? One. Thanks. Guys, if you're interested in B-roll at practice, one o'clock.